which one. Well, that's why he's doing what he's doing. He's just goes up in the air. You see this area right here above the driver, they call it like the birdhouse. Right here. This area looks good. Yeah. That's what's protecting the driver, and that really held up well. You ever see the car stopping? And here he comes out the window. That's great. Easy does it. And that catches him. Scary, scary crash for Elliott Sadler. Let me get my breath before I take a yeah. step. I'm dizzy. Let's go back and look. There he is, right in the middle. And these guys are Dyson. Go ahead, BP. And there he makes contact. He comes down trying to get in front of Kurt Busch. They make contact. Watch that thing fall. You know, that it lands on that road you talked about. And then when it gets onto the racetrack again, it takes another nasty flip. Watch this hit. Oh, that's a hard one right here. Oh, man. Oh, they all look pretty hard. Yeah, they do. I don't want to be in there in any of them. Like I said, that car really held up well above the driver. But you see the hood flopping around and the deck lift, the tethers that NASCAR has these teams installed to keep the hood and deck lift yeah, work. It took the steering wheel off right away. Yeah. That's unbelievable. He had a crash in practice driving for the Wood Brothers a few years ago in Michigan that looked like that. And see, that's the problem when you get, like I said, when you start mirror driving, and that's what these guys are doing. They're trying to get in front of each other, trying to make blocks. This close to the end of the race, you're not going to give a guy a break. You know, something I want you to think about as you're watching these replays again. Watch what I think happened is Elliott reacted to Dale Jr. Dale Jr. started to turn left in front of Elliott. I think Elliott just reacted to that and moved left. And that's when he came across the front of Kurt Busch. I don't think he was trying to block Kurt. I think he reacted to Dale Jr. making a sudden move to the left and just instinctively. Uh, that could be, but I mean, you're still getting a lot of that going on right now that you don't see any other time of the race. Unfortunately, 
was down where no other cars hit him while he was flipping. Didn't take that right front tire long to blow out, did it? Flipped one and a half times in the air. And it's going to catch again and start going. Three and a half times. When is he going to stop? You got to be sitting there going, him, please yeah. don't hit me. Yeah. yeah. So he rolled over five times. Not counting the time he spent sliding on his roof upside down. Watch again. Junior makes a move to the left to block. Sadler turns the head off. So we're under the red flag. And Greg Biffle becomes a lucky dog. Uh, not inside of 10 laps to go. Okay. That's okay. one of the nuances of the rule, this new rule, that okay. once we get to 10 laps to go, they don't give the free pass anymore. So. Sorry, Greg. And we have uh, six laps to go in the race, actually five and a half with where the field is sitting, halfway down the back straightaway. There will be 23 cars on the lead lap. And we're probably going to have four, four or three laps left in this thing. So <laughs> it's not over yet. Michael Waltrip is the leader. Dale Earnhardt Jr., Ward Burton, they're all up there. In the running for the win in the EA Sports 500 at Talladega. More drama left to unfold here at the world's fastest speedway. Elliot Sadler fortunately out of his car after this scary ride. over to block him. Right there. Oh, he's going to hit me. Right there. Mm. Six if you can. I guess we're trying to figure out how to line them up while we're showing this. Could be. Yeah. Wish I thought of it at the beginning of the break. I'd have run down the hall for a second. How long till we're back? 45? Yeah.
The Talladega Super Speedway quiet late on this Sunday afternoon, but the race has not ended. We are under the red flag after a violent crash involving Elliott Sadler, who has climbed from his race car. Here it is just a few moments ago, inside of 10 laps to go here in the EA Sports 500. All these drivers trying to go for the win here. And this, the single car incident and a wild ride for Elliott Sadler. Upside down and the violent snap and the roll. Michael Waltrip has an escape hatch or an alternate exit in the top of his car. The only one using it here this weekend. This might encourage some other people to use it in the future. Last